Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Madam President. And I just got, um, I just got finished watching a very disturbing video and a very, um, unfortunate, of a very unfortunate situation that occurred between an African-American woman. I believe her name was Easter. She underwent a surgery and, um, some kind of surgery. She was under the knife. She had about eight to nine doctors in there, um, all white doctors, I'm performing the surgery on her and um they were talking about her. This was an African American woman. I wouldn't even consider her to be plus size. I would consider her to be an average size woman. The average size woman in America for all races is um size fourteen, if I'm not mistaken. And um I don't know what size she was, but she didn't look like a big woman to me. But basically in the surgery, as she was having the surgery um, the doctors had referred to her as precious more than once. Um, the doctors had basically said that she was unpleasant and, you know, just basically have a small talk about her. And one of the female doctors said, did you see her belly button? Um, so this is a, they didn't know that this woman was recording the surgery, but this reminds me why black doctors are very important. African-American doctors it is essential. Um, we keep fighting for diversity, but I don't feel comfortable going into a, a law, a doctor's office with white men and thinking that I'm going to ever get the best care possible because America is a place that is built on white supremacy. And if white supremacy is embedded in their minds, psychologically, they are sick and they can't help me. They could be a hundred percent capable and able and the best. But if they believe that they are white supremacists and I'm a, as an African-American, I'm not really, I have no value in America. I'm not really important and things like that. Then I don't trust them with my life. And some of them have that mindset, no matter how far along they are, no matter if they're a senator, no matter if they're the president of the United States, no matter who they are, there's a great chance that whites, um, that racism is embedded in their mind. If you look back at Dylan Roof, he was only a teenager and he went into the church in Charleston and he killed nine African-American people. And he was too young to have that kind of hate in his little world. His world was very small, but here's what I know about white supremacy and racism in America. When a, a when a child is born and a child is a um, crack baby, or um, yeah, if a child is born and the child is a crack baby, and you know, this child is premature, you they typically put it in an incubator and things like that until it's out of their system. So why is it that parents keep birthing white supremacy? They keep birthing it. They keep passing it on and on and on, on and on and on. It, it's, it's living in their children. No one is born racist. It's a taught behavior. And unfortunately, um, this situation with the woman going under surgery, being called precious and things like that, she was an African-American woman. And those were white doctors. And what do you expect? Do you expect them to, to look at you with, with a glee in their eye? Did you, do you expect them to look at you with respect? No, you should never anticipate um, a white person to look at you and respect you um, because historically, historically, it's just not the American way. The American way is built on on your grandparents and your ancestors labor for free. The American way is full of racism. Our entire um, structure in America here is, uh, is, is a racist systemic structure that it should be ended. I look for black doctors. I search for black doctors. Doesn't mean that um, I'm a racist. It's just that I want someone operating on me that looks like me because they have the potential to see me as human and see me as, if they see me as human, they may assist me better. Um, it's unfortunate what this woman had to go through. I hope that she gets um, get paid a lawsuit 
agreement that it's satisfying to her because no one should have to go through something like that during a um during a surgery during there was a period of time and I'm about to go there was a period of time where black people could not even be serviced by white people in hospitals there were a lot of black people who died they died because white doctors refused to work on them ain't no way in hell I'm going back to that. So may we all be in good health and may um may you never have to go under the knife with white supremacist doctors. I'm Madam President with the Z.